Did you post yet? No, I don't think so. How oh, could such post not been yet? I thought I missed him. Are you expecting something special? I'll say. We should be hearing any time now that we've got the naughty enough for our house to be a museum. Oh, Vera, I don't think you should set your heart on that. I mean, supposing it doesn't happen. But it will. Mr Broxbond says so. And remember, it'll be a royal that does the opening ceremony. Yeah, fingers crossed, it's our Charles. Cos he's my nephew, you know, twice removed. It'll be a family reunion. If it's not the end of the world, though, I mean, if it fell through, you know. But it won't, it can't. That's why I'm looking for postman. We should hear any day now. Listen, Vera. Morning, Frankie. Jack. <laughs> How Vera been telling you about the grand opening ceremony, have you? <laughs> Touch wood. <laughs> I've been thinking, you have been a wonderful neighbour to us. So I think on the day of the royal opening, we think you should be our guest. Gee, thanks. You didn't mind me inviting her, did you, love? Did I? No, she were thrilled. She were too overcome to say much. And I'll tell you what, love. You might not be much to look at, but you're all out. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen Ron Hepperwhite for years. Oh? Ron Hepperwhite. He was at your house the other day. I saw you letting him in. No, that one Ron who uh, ever was saying. Yes, it was. I got to know him when I was working on the Gazette. No, you're mistaken. That were Henry Broxbone for the Northwest Conservation Society. He's the one that's going to turn our house into the museum of working class life. It's a lovely man, lovely manners. I said to our Jack, you want to watch him? When you break wind, it's part of me. No, that's better out than him. <laughs> yeah, right, well. Well, he must be an exact replica then. I'm surprised Jack didn't notice the resemblance, because he knows Ron very well. He was chairman of the Weatherfield Pigeon Fanciers Association. Pigeons? Pigeons, eh? There's no such scheme. You think I've been misled? Yes, I think you're right. Have a nice day. You must be joking. What's up, Vera? I've been made a fool of, that's what's up. With our Jack and that Henry Broxbone. There's no such person, it was just a trick. What are you on about? And don't sit there eating your sausage and chips. Did you know about this? I bet you did. I bet you were in on it. Vera, I knew nothing honest. Making me think our house had been singled out. Raising me hopes that we were somebody special and having a royal opening. Oh, the swines. They'll be sorry they did this to me. And as for our Jack... There you are. Well, I've told him straight. Who? That Henry Broxbone. Vera, what are you talking about? I phoned him at his office and I told him, I said, this grand opening's got to be done right. No, 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 hang on, hang on. You rang the Conservation Society and, and spoke to who? Well, I didn't speak to him because I couldn't find him. And I was sick of hanging on to the phone, so, I, well, I just left him a message. Oh, right, right, I see, I see. Yes, he's got to come here for his tea on Friday because I want to know what's going on with this opening. And what time our Charlie's coming? Cos it'll all have to be settled. Look, Vera, don't be getting your knickers in a uproar. Just leave it to Henry. It'll be right then. Oh, no. No, we're having it done my way. And if the arrangements aren't to my satisfactions, well, he knows what'll happen. What do you mean? What do you mean? Well, he can forget about the opening, about this museum of the common man, because I can get another house. And then we can get rid of those flaming pigeons. Oh, not a word about this to our Jack. Oh, cross me out. Well, you better not, or else she'll be in as much trouble as what they are. <phone rings> Hello? Huh? Ah, Mr. Broxbourne. So you got my message then? It's our Jack's pigeon pushing pal. Uh, well, yes, I just wanted my mind uh, put in at rest, you know, about what's happening. Also, you can come to our house on Friday for your tea. Well, I could always come to your office if you can't. Oh, that's good. Yeah, well, now I know you're coming, I'll make you some hot. <laughs> Bye. Oh, I can hardly wait. They don't know what's coming to them. Why, what are you going to do? You'll find out and so will they. <laughs> what 
that were all about. Uh, no, listen, listen, this tea party that you had determined to put on for this conservation society. Okay. Yeah, with Mr. Brock's ball. Yeah. Uh, bye, bye. Bye, bye, Vera. Now, just, just remind me what it's all about, will you? Is it like to, to keep him on our side? Just make sure he don't forget to come. Right. Yeah, because I've, uh, I've got something special, so don't eat beforehand. What? Oh, it's a surprise. So you'll be used to eating posh, won't you? I hope you're not going to be let down by this. It's just that sometimes you have to use ingredients close to hand, nearer to home. What, what do you mean, Vera, nearer to home? What is it? it it's a very well-known delicacy, this. Pigeon pie. You might recognise some of them. You haven't? Well, they weren't serving any purpose, were they? Once I found out who your pal really was, I'll swing for you, woman. I will play me train for you! Uh, sit. Oh, hello, Tyrone. Uh, do you want to join us for some pigeon pie? No, I'm just going to go and get a bath and that. Well, I've ironed your fancy shirt for you. No need, I'm not going out anymore. Oh, what a shame. Do you know, you were really looking forward to that. No, she hasn't. No, she hasn't. No, she hasn't. They're all there. What are you doing playing a blooming trick like that on us, eh? And not for the first time, neither. And what about you two playing tricks on me, eh? Saying he were from Northwest Conservation Society. You must think I were born yesterday if you thought we were going to fall for that one. Yes, well, he brought it on yourself. I mean, why, why do you say yes when I ask for a, for a couple of pigeons that don't do no harm to nobody? Because I like my backyard clean and tidy, thank you very much. I don't want folk treading pigeon muck all over my carpet. Now, look, that's just a crust. There's no filling in it. But that's where your feathered friends are going to be. If you don't get rid of them by tomorrow, 